That is the one really bad part about Green Glade Duo. Is it only has one voice line that it says over and over. <laughs> That's the bad part. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Shen. I'm going to be playing another Shen deck because I want to play Sacred Protector. Uh, Shen's new boat, the 7 mana 8 6, pretty cool card. So I wanted to play this. So I was trying to think, you know, like, what should we do? We just played Shen Fiora the other day. We could do another Shen Fiora deck, but decided to go with Jarvan instead. Jarvan um, does have barrier also, so that works out really well with Shen. And I just think the barrier right now is really valuable because we have lots of Sivers and Ruin Runners running around right now. There's tons of Siver Ruin Runner stuff. And I think the barrier is good against that because you can't really use spells to kill Siver or Ruin Runner because they got the spell shield. So having blockers um, that have uh, barriers, I think, work out well, or even, you know, challengers with barrier. And so, like, Jarvan, for example, I think matches up really well against both Sivir and Ruin Runner. Because you attack, you put your Jarvan into play, attacking and challenging the strongest enemy. Strongest enemy is probably going to be Sivir or Ruin Runner. And uh, so I, I think that this card can uh, line up very well against those. So, like, Screeching Dragon doesn't line up quite as well against those. Um, I've, I've been having too many Screeching Dragons try to challenge Ruin Runner, and then they use... Um, the plus three plus one pump spell and keep their ruin runner alive and that's a mess So we only got the two screeching dragons because basically we got this other top end because we have sacred protector bright steel formation And jarvin's really expensive. I just couldn't have too much top end um, So that's why we only had room for two screeching dragons Early on we're gonna have uh, fleet feather tracker green green glade caretaker caretaker has the ability to trade up um, We'll have bright steel protector with the barrier Protégé and River Shaper in the three mana spot. So basically Protégé instead of Fiora. Not too much of a downgrade for not using a champion. And then we got good pump spells, right? Because right now it's it's because of Sivir Ruin Runner, it's more about pump spells than it is about removal spells. So only two single combats because, again, single combats don't really work. But using Sharp Sights, using Twin Disciplines, using Prismatic Barriers, that kind of stuff is really well positioned. All right, so let's give it a try. So only, you know, like only one deny, right? You just don't need to deny stuff against those things. Um, you don't need to use concerted strikes because they don't really work. You just need more barriers and pump spells and challengers and things like that. So that's what we're going to be going with. All right, let's go play our five games in ranked with Jarvan Chen. Okay, we'll mulligan the two Jarvins. I'll go ahead and keep River Shaper and Shen. Gotta look for some cheaper cards. Okay, got some protection. With Twin Disciplines and Sharp Sight. Sharp Sight's good against Cutthroat. Let's go protege against these smaller units. I'm gonna try taking out Black Market Merchant and then I'll have Sharp Sight for... <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great card to hit. I'll have... Uh... I'll have Sharp Sight for the Cutthroat. Shake the land and give it life. It won't feel like this first. Strike, we will reform. <laughs> A gift from the river folk. I'll be damned. Okay. I can play Shen first, but it's kind of like, why play Shen first? Well, I'll play Shen first. Space between worlds. I'm 
one of the good guys, but not that. Never stop shooting. You're not too bad. So we need to, you know, worry about the Sejuani because they're they're doing a lot of oh monster harpoon. That card's great. I was gonna say they're doing a lot of um, plunder triggers. Every wave is a path. Yeah, that's a good setup. Opponents had a solid hand. Water changes but never breaks. Always forward. The high currents pull them down. Wow. Wow. Oh man, that's living the life right there. Yeah, great hand for them. Yeah, hitting Saboteur as well. Hitting the, like the Black Market Merchant, the best, the absolute best cards to hit were Sharp, sharp Side or Twin Disciplines. They hit Twin Disciplines. A gift from the river folk. Damn it. They're living the life. Wish we could replay this matchup because I, I don't. Yeah, that's that was kind of rough. No quarter. Fool, do not doubt. Very good Fleet Feather Tracker draw, getting the Jarvan in, killing the Misfortune. So still alive for now. I'm hoping Spirit's Refuge can do some work. And not, no, not Sejuani. Oh, Riptide Rex? That's even worse. That's even worse. Man, They everything went right for my opponent. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to do this, and this, and then we go to eight. Back to eight. We each have two cards in hand. Our two cards are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I guess it's just formation. I don't know. Um, actually, no. I think it's this route actually. Because I know I could just play the bright seal formation and attack with it, but actually I think it's better to play the bright seal formation on defense. You know, like they go like Sejuani on yeah, defense. You don't want to Like they like they play that, then I play the formation. The sea beasts will fear us. I am one with the land. There's plenty of killing left. Hmm. That was a good turn for them. Play something. Whoa, really? I guess that's game. Yeah, that's game. Wow. Wow. I don't know if there's another top deck like just in, in those regions that wins them that game. <laughs> that was, um, maybe there is. I don't know. Feel like feel the rush? Like no, I don't even think. That, yeah, that was crazy. Just gonna keep it. Okay, so I think what we learned that first game is that looks like a really good matchup for us. 
See, this is the kind of stuff I don't like with Lurkers, playing one mana, like that card. Like, they just wasted a card for two life. Surely got to predict, but... It's not a very important predict right there. So even though we lost that first game, I'm impressed for how it, it worked out. Because I think that... Because that is a getting to be a popular deck, that Misfortune Sejuani deck. And so, like, if we're going to be playing this Jarvan Shen, I think that looked like something that could be a good matchup. Morning tea time! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. A donation deck there. For Yasuo Misfortune. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, unfortunately, the three health means I don't really have a good challenge. I am one with the land. I am pretty surprised about that. Okay, if I go Prismatic Barrier, which one am I saving? The Tracker can just go kill this Sharkling. No, I save this thing. I don't, I don't know why, like, why would you not have the, the three health challenge the two health? Like, I just don't, I don't understand why they're not doing that. We did see the strength of Prismatic Barrier being a three mana barrier uh, that last round. Okay, so they put something on top. Like it was a Rexi on top. We walk between realms. Nature blesses her followers. My life for these lands. Nature blesses. Playing the Stand United gets me two barriers. Why, why do you play Snapjaw Swarm when you can't lurk anymore? Maybe they thought they could still lurk. Oh, I should've done the plus three plus zero, oh, like on the Shen. Mm. Should've done the plus three plus zero, would have lethal. Yeah, it's a difficult deck to play, the Lurkers. That's what we, you know, determined our last video. So each one's taking six. We'll go barrier here. Plus zero, plus three here. That is the one really bad part about Green Glade Duo, is it only has one voice line that it says over and over. <laughs> That's the bad part.
followers. <laughs> I wonder what nature does. Oh no! All right, fine. Don't get to do the full attack. Raise our banners! Demacia prevails. Okay. I like Shen's boat. I think Shen's boats are a strong card in 8-7. I really like the size. Okay. All these spells are good. However, we kind of need bodies also. So I'm going to just send them back. And we'll see if we get other spells, but, you know, try to get some bodies as well. Oh wait, Greenglade Caretaker has a different voice line? I guess it's just whenever whenever you see a barrier, that's when it says the, the nature one. Whenever there's a barrier card. Okay, not great. This round one frozen thrall almost uh, almost ready to turn into an 8-8. There's the 8-8. So one barrier so far. It is not yet their time. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. So I'm going to try to level up Shen right here. Let's see. I guess I, I got to keep Prismatic Barrier. So therefore... This is the line. Keep him prismatic barrier. Come on. Wow. Wow. GG's, I guess. Well, I'm really glad they played this this clockwork card. They just don't need to play that because then they would now they don't get another eight eight. Why'd they play that card? Oh, they're just attacking with everything. Okay. Huh. Is there any way to have lethal coming back? I need you survive, you survive. Immediately. You kill you. Therefore, means you flock over here. Your place is still in the mortal world. Step one, keep everything alive. Wish I had one more mana for the sharp side to kill the Talia as well, so I could have had one extra attacker than they have blockers. Enforced equilibrium. Run them through. Protect and strike. Aha. Hardly fair. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. Hmm. Yeah, just GG's. I have disgraced the King Ku. 
we've had some opponents live the dream so far. But I've been impressed by the, the power of our deck and the consistency of our deck. Even though we have had some opponents live the dream. I like these barriers, though. I think barriers work out really well. We haven't even played against Sivir Ruin Runner, which is, you know, the main reason why we're playing this deck. Or the popularity of Sivir Ruin Runner. Yeah, you want challengers against Poros. No challengers for us right now. We got six mana. Put one in. Unfortunate mulligan, not you know, finding one card, one unit that costs less than four. Remember, I only kept the Shen. Thanks, Bright Seal Protector. Thanks for showing up right when I needed you. Poros are getting kind of popular. It's our second time to play against Poros today. What have Poros done to you? <clears throat> Possible I should be using the single combat right there on that Daring Poro. The Daring Poro is going to be what kills us. Uh, we could maybe get like double attack with Barrier and Lifesteal. That could be nice. I like Brittle Seal quite a bit. I'm just saving the spell mana. I guess maybe I should have used it <clears throat> to kill the tough thing. It would have kept my 3-2 alive, but I want to play the Sacred Protector. You know, then, but we need like the spell mana, so I kind of want to just have prismatic barrier for like these things or um, cataclysm. This thing's got challenger. That's scary. didn't do anything. Good old double attack. <laughs> there we go. Because yeah, then we're about to like open attack and we're about to have a whole lot of double attack units. Like we, we gave everything double attack with the different barriers in our hand and so everything was going to be lethal. Oh, we got the mirror match. Well, that's too bad. So we didn't get to play against Sivir at all. That's too bad. It really... I really think that this deck is tuned pretty well to face Sivir. So that's unfortunate. Single combat gone. Keep the rest. So predictions are up.
Green Glade Lookout, huh? I forgot about that card, how that just got buffed. We should play some more Green Glade Lookout. Like, that's... That's honestly a good card, right? Like, you get the... Uh, that card, that cost reduction is really valuable. I think that's a good card. I also think I may just pass here. I think I just pass here. Yeah, this is a good card. Like, that cost reduction is a real thing. Especially if I want to play some more Bright Steel for formations. Because Bright Steel formations looked good. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. It must be done. Yeah, opponent's smart. Opponent's, opponent's deck looks great. At least this green gray lookout looks great. River shape the land and give it life. You're covered. Engulf them. I don't think we're winning this one. No, we're not. So maybe I should just like mulligan a lot more cards. We just don't have our champions, right? Like all the other games we've had our champions. Champions are pretty valuable. Sanctuary tank. Getting that resub in. Thank you, Sanctuary tank. I appreciate it. I've got your back. This game's over. They got shown I don't. So, I go. so yeah, I guess I should have mulligan looking for Shen. Shen's the best card. Sharp side out of their hand. Ours is but to do and die. We drew a champion, so we're back. You know, we got a chance again now. They got something that, that costs not very much mana. They've gotten a ton of cost reduction. Oh, it's just Tasty Faith Folk. That is good. It's, it wasn't something like super, super scary. Like Bright Steel Protector. Or Formation. Formation. Sorry, this is Protector, the Formation. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Cool. Now, I feel really good about this now. Alright, so we know this is a spell. Um, Ours is but to do and die. Man, and we got Shen, so yeah, we got pretty lucky. I was feeling pretty bad about this, but then we just drew champion into champion. And they didn't have anything very big. Yeah, you know, like they were playing the screen glade lookout without anything that was that big. Okay, they got Collector. This is Protector. What am I even saying? <laughs> they got Sacred Protector. Enforced equilibrium. 
They kind of have to block the Green Glade Caretaker. We know this is a spell that they have in hand, though. Dang. Okay. I was like, are you sure about that? But yeah, with them going to four, I can't finish the game out with either of these. So. Still, we'll take this. Okay, so the Shen is their most expensive unit in hand, because, you know, that's the spell. Ours is but to do and die. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. And we just, we got the Jarvan. Jarvan, Cataclysm every round. Finish it out. Wow, I didn't think we were winning that game. But it turned out they didn't have the top end card. We found a way to kill their Shen. You fought with honor. And then we, and we drew both of our champions. Okay, so that's going to be Jarvan Shen. Uh, I really like how our deck felt. You know, like we ended up going three and two, winning that mirror at the last one. Uh, the first game was, you know, super crazy. Definitely thought that we would win that most every time our opponent drew probably the only card in their deck for their top deck that could kill us a Powder Pandemonium. Kind of random there. Um, but besides that, you know, so that could have easily, easily been a 4-1 um, with just you know, them drawing any other card at all. Uh, but yeah, I really liked how this deck felt. I think it felt really powerful. We even didn't get to face any Sivir or... Um, uh, you know, like that that's the kind of deck that I really have it built for is like the Sivir deck. I didn't get to face that. Um, and then even like the the Thralls, they Thralls really kind of lived their good life too. Um, so yeah, I think this deck felt really powerful. I The only thing, okay, so I could see playing the third Spirit's Refuge instead of the Repost. I'm playing one Repost, but um, if there is, you know, like more aggro and everything and you want that lifesteal, because that lifesteal can be really, really important. So could definitely see changing that. Basically have the Repost to help allow uh, Protégé and Fleet Feather Tracker trade up at times or allow you to help uh, trade up into the Thralls. Uh, but I, I like, I think this is a really good list right now. I, I do. And I, I think that, you know, not playing Nopify, basically not playing Deny. I guess I have one Deny in here, but that could go. You could get another Spirit's Refuge in for that. We never, never like wanted a Deny. I think this is like kind of the way to go these days is just play a lot of barriers and a lot of pump spells. Twin Disciplines and Sharp Sight were both amazing. Um, and just control the board. I think that's the, the way to go. Just control the board. And both of our champions do a good job of that. So I would be, I, I like this deck. I think this felt really, really strong. I'd be pretty confident in going 3-2 or better every single five game set with this, you know, and a lot of 4-1s and 5-0s uh, for just what the metagame looks like right now. I think Thralls can be tough. But besides that, I like your chances against everything else that people are playing. So that's a good deck. So that's going to be Jarvan Shen. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. And feel free to try this one out yourself. Let me know how it goes. If you are, if you do play, like if the pirate aggro matchup looks to be a little rough, because I know like Misfortune can stop barriers and stuff like that, feel free to get some more lifesteal in here. Um, you know, you can basically play the Third Spirit's Refuge instead of Repost or Deny. You can take out either of those and get some more lifesteal in that way. All right, but that's going to be it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.